Hey dudes, I just wanna let you know, hanging out with your guy friends will probably solve most of your problems. I mean it. Loneliness and isolation are killing us. It can result in both mental and physical illnesses, and men are nearly four times as likely as women to die by suicide. I mean, we gotta get better at this shit. Six months ago, I set an intention that I'd never had before, to lean into my male friendships to do the work of having close guys in my life as an adult, and to let my dudes know that they're important to me. And maybe even more than that, to let them know that no matter where they are in their lives or where their lives have taken them, marriage, travel, kids, jobs, whatever, I am still here to fuck around and bro out. I am here to remind my friends and myself that we still possess camaraderie. There are few things more important to an aging man than his friendships with other aging men. And I realize I just call myself an aging man. All right, gonna keep it in. Uh, I think most of our girlfriends and wives would agree that men should not be relying on their partner for all their emotional support and social interaction. But with the pandemic and the lone wolf mentality that we're taught from a young age, it tends to just naturally happen. We get isolated. And the big issue I've seen in my own relationships is that there's nothing less sexy to a woman than being a guy's pseudo mother, therapist, or only friend. In a study I saw, 20% of men surveyed said they had received emotional support from a friend within the past week, compared to 41% of women. I mean, that's like double. Women are so much better at this than us. Male friendship serves you. It's still what we do for fun. I mean, we, we play with our friends. <laughs> You know, it's important. But because we've been taught to go it alone and that we don't need anybody's help, we turn away the men that we love in our lives. I mean, I get it. We don't want to put ourselves out there because, you know, maybe dude seems like he's too busy or like, I don't have the energy right now to like try and make plans and all that stuff. It's also tough to put yourself out there because, you know, you might get rejected or ignored, but the rewards are completely worth it. Studies have shown that strong male friendships or bromances, if you want to call them that, lower general stress levels and can provide a more direct outlet for emotional support than even romantic relationships, as they should. In our hearts, everybody wants to fuck around or go out or do stupid shit or drink or get real or confide in someone else who can relate to the wins and losses that are going on. So guys, hold your dudes tight. Lean into the camaraderie that you have in your life. And if you don't have male friends right now, or you haven't harvested relationships that are what you want them to be, it's time to be brave. Put yourself out there. Everything that's worthwhile is worth fleeting moments of discomfort. I mean, isn't that basically growth? You have nothing to lose if you don't already have it. We all need someone to just text sometimes and say, man, I'm having, I'm having trouble today. I'm feeling sad. Or I got that raise, I won the game, I sold the product, I started my company, and I wanna share this moment with someone else who's not just my girlfriend or wife. You will not only feel better if you do this, but your relationships will be better, and you'll have some fucking bros when you need them. That sounds cool.